Hello again viewers and uh, today's guy, well, I know I say this a lot and often, but this is really going to be a quick review, so. <laughs> uh, this is going to be the uh, FPJ-01 Fans Project Intimidator Arm Fillers. So um, basically it's um, these two small parts that fills the gap inside of the uh, arms of uh, M3 Diesel Minasaur Fans Project, whatever. So um, yeah, so. This is how it comes in the bag. Well, how I received it, anyway. Let's open it up. Yeah. So basically, this is the arm fillers. Can we focus on this? Focus, please. Yeah. So basically, you can see here the uh, both of the arms of a uh, fans project in an intimidator. Basically, it's Menasaur. And basically, these parts only fills up the gap. Uh, between the thighs of the arm modes so uh, yeah there's not much else uh, inside it's just a tiny little package so uh, let's open it up it's only held by scotch tape just like this out so yeah there's no particular instruction we can see where the parts goes in the uh, robot mode and in vehicle mode because we can store them in the uh, inside of a uh, diesel so uh, let's put this aside and oop. these are the tiny parts the really tiny parts <laughs> so um, yeah there's not much else to say it's a uh, nice red I think it's the same red as uh, which one is this uh, dead end I think so yeah it's a uh, the same pretty much color and basically you just Plug it out, plug it in side. I'm gonna do this a little bit later. And here's a look at the uh, the other one. It goes for the F1 car. Again, same thing, you just plug it inside of the ties when it's in the arm mode. But yeah, first I wanna start with the storage room inside of uh, diesel. So here's diesel in vehicle mode. So, um, Basically, you just have to split the trailer in two, like this, and they should store inside. I don't know if you can see because it's pretty dark inside. Inside right here, we can see there's a tiny groove, and they plug in. So you just like this and stick it inside. I'm having trouble trying to see in the camera, but yeah, like this. <laughs> On your same thing with your side. Line it and plug it in, and it holds. So, yeah, the two parts are in, and now obviously you can reattach the trailer. Yeah, like so, and yeah, we still have diesel properly functioning, and yeah, that's it for the uh, vehicle mode. It is pretty solid whatever shaking inside it's just a wheel <laughs> so it's not the pieces so yeah it holds pretty solid so uh yeah it's gonna feel like I say a fraction of a second for you guys but I'm gonna cut and be right back in about an hour because that's about the time it takes me to transform this guy since it's really complicated but I'll see you in the uh, combine mode and plug the arms filler in and yeah you'll see be right back and I'm back. Uh, finally, uh, Intimidator or M3 is uh, completely assembled in uh, well, combined mode. And now we can place the arm fillers inside of the, well, arms. <laughs> so yeah, first uh, let's start with the red one. And of course it goes right here. So basically the plug just uh, goes in the um, focus. Uh, Come on, focus. Uh, I'm having trouble with this. So basically, the yeah, the uh, ledge just slides between the legs right here of the arms, and the uh, the uh, square just fits in and closes everything like so. Pretty simple. And same thing for uh, the yellow part. It just goes uh, like this inside the thighs right there. And 
clips in real tight and they just fills the gap inside of the arms not too complicated is it <laughs> so uh yeah uh, obviously it's not much i uh, i admit it it's really not much it doesn't give a, a lot to the figure and but uh i'm getting the other uh uh, expansion kit for a uh, fans project Menasaur right here. Uh, the other kit modifies the uh, yellow race cars and adds weapons and stuff, but it really makes him look much better. And filling our filling these arms with the other add-on kit is gonna look just perfect. It's gonna make the the whole figure absolutely amazing. So that's the reason I picked it up. It's only like what twenty bucks. Uh, it's really cheap. I know it's just only two small parts, and it's only to fill in the 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 arm gaps. But it does a great job. It's a really nice quality. The colors match perfectly. So, yeah, this is the uh, Shadow Fisher FPJ Zero One. I I really do recommend it, even though it's not much. It's, it just covers the blade, the whole. Personally, I really hate uh, most of the combiners where they just use the legs of figure and makes them into an arm, and there's the gap. Personally, it it, it irritates me. So those gap fillers were missing from masterpiece uh, from the uh, fans project Manasaur. It's one of my favorite combiners, so obviously I'm gonna buy the the kits that's gonna make him more perfect. I mean, it was already a pretty good combiner, but you know, whatever makes him more <laughs> perfecter. I mean, <laughs> if you can say, yeah, I'm gonna get him. So I I really can't wait to have the other add on, and uh, obviously I'll try to make a uh, full review when I receive the uh, other kit add on. I'm all, along with this kit added on to him. So, yeah, that was it. See you next time.